wouldn't even say it's a relationship. It's a relationship that you might have with someone else in your life. You know when you meet, you don't really know that person, then maybe you do know them. He's my contact. I don't know what he is or what he wants with me, but I've never been harmed. I've never been adversely affected. You're saying that the some of the space the spacecraft has edges that aren't connected. Could, could you go into more detail? Uh, more detail? Um, sure, I can give you more detail. You're looking at the video I sent you, and from there you, you want to know what it's like on the inside and what it's like in terms of the light. It, it, the only thing I can tell you is that it, it, it's um, nothing like you've ever experienced. But somehow there's something familiar about it. There's something you you're not surprised about it. Is there a fear factor? Certainly it is. But I've had these experiences before, and the video that I sent in that this is real. Why do you call it the Ark? Um, uh, that's just my description of what this is. This is a mage vessel, not a small craft, not a transportation device. This is a large vessel. It's almost a world of itself. It's so massive. I have a close friend that I've had for a long time and I used to live in an area in, in the southeastern area of the country, South Carolina near the Rockies. And um, he now lives in California. He contacted me and, as he does every so often. And he let me know that you folks were out there and this was a form that I might be able to share this information with because frankly I'm not one talking about this all the time. It's not that I'm embarrassed about it or I'm ashamed about it or either way. It's just as part of my life that's been happening for a while. And um, it seemed on my friend's recommendation that you folks, uh, Blake and Brent and Dirt Face and Moon were the place to bring this information to. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not all that too familiar with the audience out there or who has what footage or not. Um, I know there was some programming back a couple of decades ago on network television that had some footage of this kind of phenomenon. I just know that I'm not the only one who's seen this and experienced this, traveled and had this kind of contact. I'm not the only one who has this kind of documentation with my still photography archives and the video that I've shot from different formats dating back to you know, Super High 8 from VHS to Betacam and stuff where Bay is off the phone much. But I, what, I guess the point I'm trying to make to you, Blake, is that I don't think that this makes me special. I don't think it makes anybody special. I, I think that this is what our world is today and it's been for a long time. I don't think this is a new phenomenon. I just think that the amount of people we have in the world, as they say, the world's getting smaller. This is just going to be more commonplace. Um, well, I appreciate your interest and I appreciate the opportunity. Um, I, I have a footage I mentioned last time when I, when I was on with you. I have footage dating back to the 1970s. Um, I, I never looked to market this stuff. I never found this to be a pathway to share. And I'm not a I'm not a newspaper man. I'm not a journalist. And um, there, there is some negativity that comes with walking around and telling people what you've seen and showing them your photographs and videos. I've seen the negative side of that. So I, I've never been one to go out and share all the stuff that I have, but you sound like good folks and good people and good good place to do this, and I'd be happy to share with you what I have and kind of motivating me to kind of go through all my stuff and see what you'd like to see. I'm going to share it with you. Ed's going to be sharing what he says he's been capturing these things since the 1970s, Super 8, photos all the way up to HD. It's happening to him present day. These videos are uh, and photos, like I said just earlier, are some of the best videos and photos ever submitted to Third Phase Moon. We're always looking for videos and photos from around the world. And the best way to share it is contact us via Skype or Facebook, and that's how... Uh, Ed got in touch with us. We're going to calls right now. People have been standing on line. Everybody, uh, thanks for holding. Let's go to the first one that called in. They've been holding on for about 25 minutes now. Area code 914, welcome to Third Phase of Moon. Tell us where you are and uh, what's your name. 
Hi, this is Ryan. I'm calling right outside New York City. Ryan, welcome to Third Phase. What's going on? Oh, it's great. Um, just as far as um, that gentleman's testimony, uh, between, you know, the, the 